making queer friends and building relationships with other queer people is limited to nightlife in nightclubs because so much of our experiences have to be either hidden or repressed during the day. And nightlife is sometimes the only space where we're allowed or we feel allowed to define ourselves. I started Body Party soon after a trip to New York. The people that I'd met, they were all artists and they were all working together. And I guess it was under the guise of a party. But really, there was something incredible and exciting happening. Oh, we met in a dive bar. <laughs> we met in a dive bar in Dawson. We met at Vogue Fabrics. There is no best party. It's a blurry collage of feelings. Like, it's like, it's, there's no particular one night. You piece them all together, and then you think, like, what was it about those moments that I want to experience again, or I want to recreate in some way? I don't think we know enough about the people that we meet when we go out. I think social isolation is one of the effects of not having or being able to sustain lasting connections with other queer people. I feel lonely because I feel misunderstood or that the things that I try to say are misinterpreted. I feel lonely because it's very easy to feel far away from people who are close to you. That's what loneliness is. I think I'm a challenging person to be around when you have a set idea of what a black man is or should be. I've always had a problem with my life and what I do being described as subcultural because I feel as though it marginalizes me and my peers even more. It's counterproductive. While it's important to be visible, meaning to see and to be seen, that can't be it. Representation isn't the same as emotional stability, financial security, professional security. I hope that my kids and my younger brother and sister's generation don't find it as difficult as we do to survive. That's what I hope for. I hope that they get reparations. <laughs> yeah, I hope that it won't be so hard in the future. I hope that I remain hopeful. <laughs> I hope that I don't lose hope. That's it, really.